So the, the gender wars aren't over. There was an op-ed in the New York Times about bro talk on Wall Street and how it still exists. And I remember seeing this article, reading it one Saturday, Sunday morning, going out for a drive and actually literally having to pull over to the side of the road uh, because I felt like I'd been kicked in the stomach. I remember thinking, this is still going on. I know it happened when I was a junior professional. When I first started work at Solomon Brothers, I would come into work and there'd be Xerox copy of male private parts on my desk in the morning. So you were how old when that happened? 23, right out of college, right out of college. My guess it was some of the junior guys and my guess it was to try to run me out. So, you know, by about time eight, nine, 10, 15, like, come on guys, really? Like, come up with something better than this. Um, but there was clear they were trying to run me out. So I wasn't going. I don't know that I'd say there's a 1,000% straight line between, my gosh, there continues to be discrimination in the workplace and I'm gonna found Elevest. But the line leads to it. Um, one, because if we women wanna be successful, a great way to do it can be to start our own businesses. Let the market decide, right? Don't go through the corporate politics of it. Let the market decide, that's one reason. The real big underlying reason is because what's become crystal clear to me over the past few years is that we women will not have all the opportunities of men. We women will not be fully equal with men. We women cannot live our full lives that we want to until we are financially equal with men. My daughter interned for us a couple of summers ago and we were in the cruddiest offices you've ever seen ever seen. Crowded, I couldn't stand up without banging into the back of our lead designer. Um, I don't mean to gross you out, but we had mice and the mice were, um, they leave droppings on the desk. I know I would get in early so that I could wipe off the desk for everybody. It was horrible, it was horrifying. I used to have a corporate jet when I was running <laughs> Smith Barney and here I am, mouse droppings. And we're working away and we're working on the prototype and my daughter's interning and interning. One day we leave work at the same time and I said, well, you know, this is really different. Remember when I used to have the jet and a couple of assistants and a huge office and really is a different thing. And she turned to me and she said, but mommy, now you're making such a difference. You're working to make such a difference in women's lives. This is so much better.